Okay, so this is our problem number two for centroid of structural section. A chord in a bridge truss is composed of the elements as shown in the figure. Locate the centroid of the built-up section with respect to its base. Yan. With respect to its base na lang. Bakit? Kasi kung napapansin nyo, nakamirror yung ating um, section or built-up section. Ibig sabihin, alam na natin na ang location ng ating y sub o is andito sa gitna. Yan. So, ito na yung ating y sub o. Ang hindi na lang ting alam is yung location ng x sub o. Kaya nga sabi niya rito, i-determine na natin yung location ng centroid with respect to its base. Okay, ito yung ating base. Ito yung hinahanap natin ngayon. Yan. So, y bar. Okay? And this is the location of our uh, overall section. Yan, so, dami section, di ba? Okay? So, meron tayong ano? Uh, plate. Okay, plate lang to. 18 inches by 1. Okay? Then, 16 by 1. Half. Itong dalawa. Okay? Then, we have two types of angles. 5 by 3 and 6 by 6. Okay? So, check natin na. Um, 18 inches. So, gawin natin millimeters na lang. Okay? So, this is 18 inches. So, 457.2. So, 4... 5, 7.1, 0.2. Okay, millimeters. Then, our thickness is 1, no? So, that is, ano, alam ko, 25. Yan, so, 25. So, thickness ito is 25. Yan, 25 millimeters. Then, this is 16 by 1 half. So, 16. So, uh, oh, 406 points. Point four. Okay, yung height nito is 406.4. Siyempre, kung kayo, ang pinapagamit lang sa inyo ng professor nyo is inches, edi yun na lang gamitin niyo. Okay, hindi nyo naman kailangan i-convert. Ako, kino-convert ko lang para at least, mamaya kasi magtanong kayo na, Sir, paano po pag millimeters? Okay, so ganyan lang naman yung mga sukat. Wala naman problema dun eh, hindi ba? So ako, kino-convert ko lang. Anyway, pwede nyo pa rin naman isolve din gamit yung ano, uh, English unit. Okay, pero ako mas prefer ko si millimeters. Okay? So ngayon, ano pa ba? Okay, yun na. Okay? Then, ano pa ba? Mm -hmm. Yung 5 by 3 by 1 half, pwede tayo sa, ano, sa table natin. 5 by 3. Or pwede, copy muna natin. Ayan, para di tayo pumunta lagi doon. Ayan. 5 by 3 by 1 half. 5 by 3 Para mabasa na kagad natin. Ang 5 by 3, ang centroids niya. Okay, nasa na centroids niya? 1.75, no? X bar. Okay, pero nakahiga yan, no? So, tama. Ito yung centroids kasi niyan. Okay, ayan. So, ang X bar niya is ito. Ayan. Okay, ang X bar niya is... Anyway, huwag natin lagay yung X bar pala. Sorry. Kasi yung y-bar pala is nasa gitna lang naman. Okay? Ang, ang kulin na lang natin is yung kanyang y-bar. Okay? So, ang y-bar niya, ito. So, this is what? 0.75. So, sa millimeters, that is 19.1. So, 19.1 millimeters. Ganun rin to. Okay? para lang naman yan na 5 by 3 by 1 half eh. Hindi ba? So, parehas lang yan. Ito ang centroids niya. 19.1 millimeters. Okay? Then, ang 6 by 6 natin, ang y bar niya is 1.68 or 42.7. Okay? So, this is ano naman eh. Um, para sa naman yung leg niya. So, dito yung kanyang centroids. Ayan. Okay? So, ang y bar nila is ito. Ganda 1.68, no? Aha. Sorry. Ah, tama pala. Ito pala. 1.68 na ito. 42.7. So, 42.7 millimeters. Mm. 42.7 millimeters. Ayan. Then, ang centuries ng ano natin, um, 18 by 1 is andito. Ayan. Okay. Okay. Nasa kalahati ng 25. 
Then, ang centuries ng 60 natin is kalahati ng 406.4. So, sabi natin ito. Ayan. Okay? So, sulat na rin natin. Ayan. Okay? Kalahati ng 406. 406.4 divided by 2. Um, 203.2. Ayan, okay? So, gagamitin pa ba natin to Hindi na, no? Okay? So, delete na natin. Ayan. So, pwede na tayo mag-start. Uh, mag so, sabihin natin, ito yung ating area 1. Okay? Area 1, yung ating plate. Then, area 2 natin is yung, ano, yung angle sa taas. Then, area 3. Then, area 4. So, for area 1, that is... Uh, 18 by 1. So, kulat yung area. 457.2 multiplied by 25. So, 11, 430. So, 11, 430 millimeter squared. Then, ang kanyang y1, huwag na natin kunin yung x1 niya kasi di naman natin kailangan. Hindi ba? Nasa gitna naman yung ating y0 or y sub o. So, y1 na lang. Ang y1 natin is what? Okay. So, yung total height natin minus yung kalahati ng 25. Ilan ba total height natin? So, that is 406.4 plus thickness, 25. Okay? Ayan. Or simply, pwede rin, 406.4 plus yung 1 half ng 25. Tama. So, 406.4 plus 25 over 2. So, 418.19. So, 418.19 ba? Or 9? Sorry, sorry. So, 9 millimeters. Yan. Then, area 2. Ilan ba ang area 2 natin? Dalawa, no? So, mamaya na lang, mamaya na lang natin in times 2. Okay? So, ang area natin dyan is... Nakalimutan ko. Dito nga pala. <laughs> okay, ayan. So, ang area natin ng 5 by 3 is 2419.4. 2419.4. Four millimeter is squared. Okay. Next, yung ating y2. Okay, so 406, ito yung height niya. Then minus natin yung 19.1. So 406.4 minus 19.1. So, this is 387.3. Next, area 3 natin is another plate that is 16 by 1 half. Ilan bang 1 half? 0.5, no? So, 12.7. So, gawin natin 13 millimeters na nga naman. Okay? So, ito. 13 millimeters. Ayan. So, 406, no? 406.4 times 13. So, 5283.2. So, 5283.2 millimeter squared. Tama ba? 5283.2. Okay. Then, ang kanyang y... 3 is kalahati ng 406.4. That is 203.2 millimeters. Okay? Plus, area 4 natin is 6 by 6 by 1 half. So, that, that is 3890. Ah, sorry. Ito pala. 6 by 6. 3709. 3709.7. Yan. So, 3709.7. Millimeter squared. Okay? So, ang ating Y4 is ito mismo. Okay? Yung 42.7. Ayan na. So, masod natin yung ating uh, Y bar. Okay? So, Y bar is equivalent to area 1 multiplied by 418.9 plus 
2 multiplied by area 2 kasi dalawa yung ating area 2. Okay? Multiplied by 387.3. Okay? Then, okay. Medyo bitin na para tayo rito, no? Sige, ito na lang. Yan. Okay? Plus, area 3. So, dalawa rin ng area 3, no? So, 2 multiplied by area 3 multiplied by y bar 203.2 okay plus area 4 dalawa rin no so 2 multiplied by area 4 multiplied by 42.7 over area 1 plus 2 multiplied by area 2 plus 2 multiplied by area 3 plus 2 multiplied by area 4 Ayan. So, makuha natin yung ating y bar. So, gawin natin ang ating area 1 is ano, alpha A, area 2 is alpha B, area 3 is alpha C, and area 4 as alpha D. So, alpha A multiplied by 418.9 plus alpha B, that is 2 times alpha B, no? Ayan. Multiplied by 387.3 plus 2 multiplied by alpha C multiplied by 203.2 plus 2 multiplied by alpha D multiplied by 42.7 over alpha A plus 2 multiplied by alpha B plus 2 multiplied by alpha C plus 2 multiplied by alpha D. Ang alpha A natin is 11,430. B is 2,419. Sorry, 2,419. Point four, C is 5283.2 and D is 3709.7 uh, So 266.42 So 2 So 266.42 Millimeters Ayan. So this is our overall Y bar. So, 266.42. So, lamang pa siya sa ano? Lamang pa siya sa ano natin? 203. Ayan. So, tama lang. Ayan. Mas pataas siya. Okay? Or actually, pwede pa natin i-edit yan. Itaas pa natin ng konti. Ayan. Itaas yan. Ang ganyan. Ganyan. Okay? And 266.44. So, bakit kaya? Okay? Kasi kung tignan natin yung overall height niyan, ang overall height niyan is 406.4 plus 25, no? So, ang taas nito, yung, yung ito, yung sukat nito is what? 431.4 minus 266.42. Yan. So, 164 na lang. So, 164. .98 So, ibig sabihin, since malapit sa taas yung ating overall centroids, mas mabigat yung andito. Bakit, sir? Eh, ang gaan-gaan lang naman ng 5 by 3 by 1 half. Ang nagpabigat yan is ito. Yan. Yung 18 by 1. Okay, kasi kung napapansin nyo na, nyo nga naman, sa baba, wala nga naman plate dito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, mas mabigat yung nasa taas. Kaya, mas malapit doon yung center of gravity natin or centroid. Okay? So, ganun ang pag-evaluate ng ating centroids. Okay? So, this is, um, ayun, ulitin lang natin. Okay? Kung, um, mabilis ang recall lang. So, nung gilawa natin ng una, hinati-hati natin yung mga area or section. Then, inisa-isa natin yung pagpuka ng kanilang mga Y-bar. Nagkatapos nun, ganun na lang siya. I-substitute na lang natin yung ating um, mga Y-bar and area dito sa ating uh, overall Y bar. So, yun nga, huwag kayong papalito sa pagkuha ng ano, ng mga Y bar. Okay? Nung, kan nung kanika nilang section. Okay? As long as nasusundan nyo yung ano, yung table and naintindihan nyo yung ano, yung properties, wala kayong ano doon, problema. Okay? So, this is our problem number 2 for centroid of structural section. So, thank you for watching. Bye!